Hello, hello, hello. I'm not sure if Colleen's finished yet, but I'm here and ready to go. Oh, let me share my stream. <laughs> if you watch, you can uh, fast forward a couple of minutes. It doesn't allow us to come on and get our settings done before it starts recording. So, um, just fast forward a few minutes while I get everything sorted out here. Oh, right. I need to use my other mouse in case I have to access my other objects, my signs and such. Still no one in my chat yet. I guess they're still at, all at Colleen's place. Mm. Ah, there's Judy. Hey, Judy. Hello, Christy. Well, I guess I should go to the one that has the corner that I'm going to draw. Hello, Karen. Hello, Lena. Sure, if you were going to come on with me today or not. So I just came on as usual. Hey, Dar. Today, you can see I'm going to do this painting. <laughs> Thanks, Lena. This is from Pixabay. Here is the, I'll show it in the full screen here for you. Oh, let's see. Do I? One moment. I was hoping my graphics tint would come before I started streaming, but if it has, it's down in my mailbox. So I'll have to go down with my walker and get them later. I'm going to see if. I don't have a watercolor pencil. I'll just use my regular pencil, which is just fine. I thought I saw a watercolor pencil in one of these the other day. But who knows? I 
I need to put in some white. So, oh, there. It's a brown one. Hey, Gail. <coughs> All right. So, this is the frame I have. Oh, gosh, I need to go back to my... Uh, sorry, guys. So, this is the frame. This painting is for Samuel. Um, his sister and his brother and his wife. And my cousin. They're getting a set of pot holders. Uh, like, dish claws, but... Samuel still lives at home, so I didn't want that. He's not married and in his own place yet. So I didn't want to give him a set of pot holders and stuff. So I'm going to do this picture for him for his bedroom wall. Hey, Jillian. Hey, Elizabeth. Long time no see. Hey, Beth. Hey, Dot. Jillian. Anyone else I missed? So this is just from Dollarama, uh, $4 frame, comes with a mat, so, and I'm going to use, oh great, where can I put it, over here I guess, for now, I'm going to use my Shinhan, and I don't have them out in a palette yet because I've been crocheting like a mad woman. Mad Louise. So I'm going to use permanent yellow deep, my leaf green. Marine blue. And then I have new tint because the darks around the um in the center um, may need more than just the marine blue. So I may need to use neutral tint in my darkest darks. So, hey, Julie, Brandy. Okay, no worries, Brandy. Oh, you are Ju uh, Judy? Well, it started again the other night at Z's. We were without it for a whole like week or two where no one seemed to have any issues with the stupid pink screens. But there's nothing I can do about it. So you know, let's just hope it calms down. If not, I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. It has to do with... It's coming from YouTube, not from us. So, oh, Joan, I'm sorry. No worries, Brandy. Just lay down the iPad and sit and listen or rest, whatever you need to do to get better. Um, since it's five by seven, the frame, I'm going to use my six by 10 fluid watercolor block cold press. I am simply going to put out I'll wait on the neutral tint because I'm not sure I'm going to need that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint from the tubes, which I hardly ever do, and that's way too much paint. Hey, Galena.
So Viridian is next. Put that here. And marine blue. All right. Put a spritz of water in each one. All right, let's see. So I'm going to zoom. Oops, sorry. Uh-oh, what's going on? How come it won't zoom? One moment, please. <clears throat> oh, duh. Sorry, never mind. I never even doing that. I wasn't clicked on the right window. And the perspective is off a little bit because of the silly camera. And I'm working on a bit of an angle, so. Let's just make sure it's focused. Okay. Hey, Kimmy. Kimberly. Hi, Carrie Ann. <sighs> Yay, Dar. <clears throat> okay. Galena, if I hope I didn't miss anyone. Okay, so I need to start with, oh, I should do my greeting. I've stopped doing my greeting since we were doing Ustream because we would chat for a while. And then when I would go live, I would do my greeting. So I'm going to do it right now. Good afternoon and welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. It's a beautiful, sunny, but cold day here on the east coast of Canada. Getting closer to Christmas and I'm still knitting away like a mad woman or crocheting, excuse me. It's Tunisian crochet, so it's kind of halfway between knitting and crocheting, but it's done with a crochet hook. This is fluid watercolor paper. It's 100% cotton. It's not a bad paper actually it's pretty decent i keep forgetting i have it because it's over in my drawer with my watercolor papers and it was hidden behind a pile of junk until i cleaned my room the other day last week it's a watercolor pad so i don't have to worry about taping the edges <sighs> Hi, Ellen. Okay, pay attention there. Don't need any pre-Christmas car accidents happening to the fibs. 
I want to make sure it's nice and damp. I'm going to give it a second to uh, soak in a little bit. And if it needs a second. <laughs> Hi, monkey. Hi, Jules. How are you, cutie pie? Hi, Julia. Hello, cutie. How you doing? My silver black velvet. Look at that yummalicious color. Oh, how yummy is that? Uh oh, hold on one moment, please. And then right into the Viridian. See, this is why I don't like working directly out of the tube because it's hard, much harder to control the... pigment load. Even though I did water it. Okay, that is going to be layer one. I'm going to have to let that dry. <laughs> oh, no, Galena. <laughs> uh, these are my Shinhan PWC paints. Premium watercolor, which is their artist grade. The, prof the ones they call professional watercolors are their high-end student grade. So one step lower than this. I don't have them from what I understand, though. They are still great paints. Thanks, Beth.
not going to worry too much about the very edge because that's going to be hidden behind the... Hey, Dee Dee. Thank you. These are my Shinhan. Permanent yellow deep. Then I have a little bit of leaf green that got lost a little bit in the variegated there. But I'm going to do another layer, so I need to get it dry, though, before I do another layer. Me, I apologize for that. I ate just a little before I, well, I ate well when I first was on the calling in about an hour ago, but still, apparently, I ate a little too fast. Okay, more from here down, but I'm gonna wet the whole thing so that I get some nice blending. So, even though I don't really need any more in that yellow area. I'm still going to wet the whole page here. Boy, that viridian really likes to stay in the brush. There we go. I think I finally got it all out. Actually, I think I need to use this brush. Get a better, a smoother uh, blend here. Ah! Oh no! Darn it, messed up that corner. It was it was nice too. All right. So this is the marine blue I'm going in with now over top so it will just kind of darken the viridian trying to get a bit of a all right now I'm going to turn it upside down because I need to go in and big time soften this edge. Uh oh, don't mess up the Viridian, Jean. Darn it. It needed to be wet more. <sighs> it dried on me. Yeah, see, I'm not used to this paper.
All right, I have to stop because it's drying more than I want. I'm going to dry completely and then I'm going to wet this bottom part again to try and get that uh, soft edge a little bit softer still, a better blend there with the dark. Oh, cool, Kimberly, that's a great idea. And so once, once I get this background nice, I'm going to draw the drop. I didn't uh, draw it on underneath this because I knew a lot of the graphite would disappear with my background, with all the water I was using and etc. So, all right. So what I want to do is start with a clean brush here, and I'm going to keep a ba baby wipe, clean baby wipe side me all right all right that looks clean so i'm going to start up here all right and now i've got a little green on it so i'm going to brush that off go down into the viridian Because I, I just don't want to spread that. I'm just trying to get the blend between. So I don't want to spread them too much. All right. And now I want to get this blending a little better here. Dark. Now, I also have to remember that some of this I may have to do. take this out a little bit because it is going to be behind. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, I'm definitely way overworking this. I need to stop. Because <sighs> I'm wrecking it. Shoot. I may have to start again, you guys. Use this background for something else. May have to switch papers, too. Because I don't like that at all. All right, I'm starting again. Because this is, is something somewhere along the line. Let me get my, oh, here it is. This 
subtle pad. So I think Let's see. It's oh, this with this pad I forgot. It's only gummed on the top and the bottom. So I still got some Viridian in through that. So I'm going to keep that for card. I'm actually going to take it off and tape it on my board, I think. Been a while since I've used this watercolor paper. 140 pound. So it's really. Oh, I guess maybe it's not 100% cotton. That's why it's drying so quickly on me. I thought it was. Huh. Okay. I apologize, you guys, but I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back. All right. While I was gone, I decided I'm going to switch to my 100% cotton paper that I like, <laughs> that I know I like, that I know how it's going to work. Or else I'm not going to be happy with it. So, you know. Thanks, Dee Dee. Hey, Colleen. All right. So I'm just going to fold this on that six inch mark or as close as I can get to it because with the fibers, you don't always get it perfectly as long as it's. going to go along that fold with my water water oh sorry I forgot to mute my computer Fawn oh my gosh hi Fawn oh it is so good to see you I think about you all the time I occasionally see your Post on Facebook. So nice to see you. I'm going to do a watercolor painting today, a water drop. You can see it in the bottom left corner there. And it only has to be eight, but the opening is five by seven, right? <clears throat> yeah, but Yep. Well, you stream by IBM and they decided to go with a business uh, setup. So they got rid of free streaming. So the B for us, and that would be with like 100 viewers, four hours a week would have cost. So basically one stream would have cost us 99 bucks a month. So yeah, none of us were going to do that. So, so we didn't really have a choice. But YouTube upped its game in the last couple of years, I guess, knowing that uh, Ustream was going to go that way. So. 
So I'm going to dry that because my tape will not stick. Oh. Where are you, heat gun? There we are. Oh. Okay. So for now, YouTube is free. We'll see how long that lasts. Oh, one moment, please. Be right back. So I'm not sure what's going on here. This one was too big for the community mailbox. So it, it doesn't feel like my one I was expecting. It's in my mailbox, the, ma the postman said. Deliver different postman delivers those. So I'm not sure what this one is. I can't remember expecting meeting I thought there was only one outstanding. Unless I'm totally forgetting something. Oh! This must be from AliExpress. Kind of got schmooshed. You see it? Hey, Julie! Yes, if if you if it seems you're behind, hover over the video, and where the word live is, there should be a red dot. If there's not a red dot, if it's gray or not any color, then click the word live. Oh yeah, that's what it is. All right, so it's my shelving units I got for my desk. Oops, that's upside down. It's my new shelving units I got for my desk. So, oh, interesting. Never know what you're going to get when you, huh, I don't know if these are going to work. Because they're not even, they're like hammocks. They're not even that solid, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they're going to hold. Oh, well, that's what you get for spending five bucks on something. Yeah, anyway, that's what that is. So my graphic tint and my flower book are in the mailbox, I guess. So I'll have to get my... Uh... Whew. Get my walker moving and go down and get those after my stream. Hey, Jerry. Okay. You have no red dot? Brandy, be, click on the word live and it should catch you up then. If you get any um, buffering at all, just 
click the word live and it'll catch you up. Okay. Yeah, Eileen is off to Hobby Lobby to finagle herself some dyes for her birthday. Apparently, the dyes are on sale. Oh. Hmm. Did you tap on the video window, Brandy? Because you should get... Brandy, are you watching on the YouTube app or on browser? Are you watching on the browser or on the YouTube app? Because you should watch on the YouTube app. It's a much better experience on the iPad if you watch on the app. I had a Hobby Lobby. I remember when I went on the Austin retreat and was my first time ever in a Hobby Lobby in Austin and walked in there and it was like the size of our super Walmart. Now I'm only taping this down. This, this is a 200 pound. 100% arches. Oh, you are on the app? Okay. Well, if you tap on the video, you should see the word live because I do on mine. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. I should get much better results because this is definitely 100% cotton paper. It should react exactly the way I want it to. See, that's the thing. Once you get used to one thing, it's kind of like really hard to uh, go back. <laughs> Be different if, it, if, it, if I was just doing it as a journal page or whatever, I would have accepted that background. But this is a Christmas gift. And he does have an artist brain and his dad is an artist and he did go to art school for two years did graphic design more but they did do some art as well what ink and watercolor but okay i'm just gonna let that sit for a minute and do a second wedding Oh, you're welcome, Brandy. Good, 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 good. That'll get you up to... Uh... So if you ever have any little glitch, Brandy, or buffering or anything like that, just go there and make sure you're live with us. Okay? And that's especially important for people who have slower Wi-Fi because you may unsync off live even if you're not getting buffering if you don't have a nice high speed internet okay so now this is going to stay wet nice longer than my other ones so i'm spritzing my watercolors again because uh, I need to make sure all my brushes, my brush here is nice and clean. I mean, already I can see the huge difference in how the paint's laying down already. Like just with the first couple strokes, it's like, yes, 
That is how my paint is supposed to react. Look, look, look at the difference. It's incredible. The difference when you're working on cotton paper as to, I, obviously, I thought the fluid paper was cotton, but that's obviously not the case. It goes on so much smoother, just lovely. That beautiful blend. Put in some dark here. And blend it out. I do need to add more Viridian, but that's okay. Sorry if you're not seeing this. I'm off camera. I'm, oh, I'm getting a little blooming there in my Viridian. So I need to get it flowing again properly. I need to do another layer, but for now, I'm going to dry this layer. <clears throat> hey, Carol. All right, Brandy, no worries. Hey, May. Okay, see you later, Dee Dee. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, it's amazing the difference the paper makes. I think the paper makes more difference than the paints, in my opinion. I was worried about Javon. I'm just glad you dropped in today. I think I'm going to go this way, this round, because I need more Viridian than I do the other colors, so. Vaughn, I did know that. I did know that um, I was told by direct message. And so I did send up healing prayers, but I wasn't sure if you wanted it known. So I didn't want to comment on public Facebook or, or Twitter. So... I did send up hugs, though, and prayers. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Glenda. Nice to see you. So know that I was thinking about you during that time, Vaughn. I indeed was, and...
I'm going to go with this one. So let's get into this meridian now. of this green into the yellow. There we go. All right. That looks good, I think. Look how much better that looks. So much smoother. Yummy paper. All right. Hi, Shara. Debbie, which Debbie? from work are you still home with the flu i was thinking about you the other day because i know you went home sick on on saturday and then i haven't heard from you since unless i missed something look at that beautiful blend guys 100 percent watercolor paper need to use it Oh, you're at a conference today. Oh, okay. All right. It's going to take a little while to dry. That's the thing with 100% watercolor paper. It wets so much better, but it also takes longer to dry because the fibers really take in that water. Hey, Nick and Tina, or Tina and Nick, whichever. <laughs> Oh, okay. 15 minutes before until the kids are back. Okie dokie. This was my first attempt on cold press cellulose paper. Exactly the same paints. Gross. There it is on cotton. Cellulose. Cotton. Absolutely no. Wait a minute, May. Nick is your brother? Is Nick your brother? How did I not know that? Sorry, it's still not dry. How did I not know that? They were in the U.S., aren't they? Aren't you guys in the? Well, of course, people in Norway can have family in the U.S. Duh. 
Oh, really? I have to stalk her in order to keep up. I see. <laughs> I've been too busy crocheting to keep up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, I knew that. I knew they were in Canada. Uh, I knew that. I knew that. Duh. Woo. Okay. Feel it with the back of your hand. If there's any cool, then it's still wet. And it feels good. All right. So now I'm going to draw. Oh, and I forgot to put on my, I guess I'm going to be using, uh, well, dang it all. I got so into doing this, I forgot to put the, I uh, guess I'm going to be using my white uh, gouache or gel pen. Sorry. Oh, my Lord, did you guys see this silly cat? Oh, there's Mia. That's my niece's cat, Mia. Look at her. What a hoot. Yeah, I, I, di I did wet it, and I probably should have. I probably should have wet it on both sides with the cellulose, Vaughn, and that would have really helped. And look at the cool picture my sister got. Look at that. Isn't that cool with the uh, Christmas tree? Welcome back, Dr. Dot. I know, right? Um, hold on. Oh, and there's Pete the Greyhound. All decorated for Christmas. Oh, no. A mouse? That's my niece. That's my niece, Stacia's girlfriend. Telling Elisa's mom, her girlfriend. Shara, but with a C, not an S. Shara. Um, oh, here she is when they were decorating the... Oh, hold on. Wrong one. I clicked the wrong one. Hold on. There she is when they were decorating, trying to get decorations up. She took her plates. Look at all that prickly stuff. And she's laying on top of it as if it's comfy. My Lord, what a silly cat. Anyway, sorry. Going back. Opening my. All right. So now I'm going to draw on. I'm going to try and do it as light as I can. The outside is mostly going to be the dark anyway, so that's okay. I'm using pencil. It doesn't matter that much.
I'm going to have to find my gouache because I'm going to have to use the white gouache in a couple of areas here. Because I should have drawn it out and did my... Oh, well. <laughs> no worries, J Jerry. I am the queen of typos. My typos are so bad, apparently I type in Martian. <laughs> what did I do with my white gouache? Oh, I have some in my... Yeah. I have some in my M grain palette, so I will get that out. And I may need to start with that. So let me find my M grain. Hold on, I've got a bag here. It's full. The garbage bag. Means I'll tie it up. Uh oh. I can take it down to the garbage when I go to get my mail. There. Sorry, throwing garbage bags around. I apologize. All right, I've got some white gouache in here, so I'll take my engrams out here. in case I need it. All right. Come on. There we go. All right. So I need to get some white gouache in some of my areas here. So I'm zooming in. I've got it open on my... Uh-oh. One moment, please. My white gouache is the Shin Han gouache. Yes, she was at Colleen's and then was heading out to Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to add gouache. Anywhere there's white and anywhere there has to be a color that's lighter than I think I need to go with a smaller brush. I need one of my detail, <coughs> <coughs> detail brushes. Hey, CB. No, she is off to Hobby Lobby. Vaughn, I like the Shinhan gouache. 
Yeah, I, it seems quite nice. Decent quality. Um, I think mostly I will use it for accenting my watercolors. I'm not sure I would ever just like completely paint with gouache, but yeah, it's it's very it seems nice. It's very smooth. I have quite a few colors. I apologize. I hope my I'm I hope it's not causing an issue. We I was bumping the microphone there. Yep, CB. She was at Colleen's. Colleen did a really cool painting for her, and then uh, then they came over here. And she headed off to Hobby Lobby, so. At first I was like, I can't believe she chose Hobby Lobby over me. And then I was like, well, duh. Apparently dyes are on sale at Hobby Lobby. So off she went. Some of this I drew in, some I didn't. Some I just sketched the kind of area that I was going to want. Obviously, you're going to have to do more than one layer of the white simply because it will re-wet the areas underneath. So it will kind of um, wash out a little bit on that first. So this is a Christmas present, like I said. It's for Samuel, my cousin's middle child, youngest son. The oldest son is married, so he and his wife are getting a set of the kitchen items. Once they, I already have a plan for a painting for them. When they get their new home, I'm going to do a nice painting for them. He is a pharmacist and she is a lab tech at the children's hospital. Guys, oh, you can see it a little bit. Thanks, Vaughn. Yeah, the last few years I've done homemade gifts. Till and Elise are each getting a lovely crocheted blanket I made for them. So you don't have to keep sleeping and sitting on the uh, cat and dog beds. Ugh. Uh, 
All right. All right, I'm going to have to use a little white. Oh, shoot. Just did that in my clean water, which is no longer very clean because it's got white all through it. Oh, well. I need to add some white down here because I have to add some yellow. And that yellow is a little opaque, but not enough to go over that viridian by any stretch. So hopefully that white will do the trick to allow that yellow to come back into that drop. Same thing along here. Oh, Vicky, you just made CB's ears perk up with that. Hey, Judy. <clears throat> okay. Let's just make sure this dries. All right, I'm going to start at the top here. that has a shorter this one I think all right start with my darkest darks here Know me, I love painting reflections and water and glass. So hopefully this will turn out. It's been a long time. So hopefully I'm not too out of practice to make this turn out the way I want. I hope my head's not in the way. Messed up that shape. All right, so. Oh. Sorry, I almost missed a, missed a water drop there. Oh, shoot.
Oops, hold on. Vaughn, the Mona blanket? One moment. I happen to have it on my iPad here. I'll show you it. So when you look at it straight on, Vaughn, this is what you see. All right. So you can sort of see a hint of it. Uh oh. Then when you turn sideways, you can see it start to appear. And then there it is. So my friend is standing behind it, holding it with her hands. So it's about five foot, five and a half. By four and a half, something like that. And it's done in what's called illusion knitting. So it's using a black yarn and a cream yarn only. And just depending on whether you use a knit or a pearl, it'll show black or the cream, or it'll look like a gray. Even the gray will show up. Thanks, Mary. So that is the the blank the Mona blanket. Okay, so I still need to get a little bit more white in this water drop just to Mid right just needs to be a little brighter. The white, the rest of it's not bad. Thanks, Vaughn. Thanks, Vicky. And it was like it was great because it was delivered right at. Um, during a Monday stream, so she op got to open it live on stream, so that was cool. That was like, what, three years ago now in November, so if you want to see her unboxing it, but yeah. I told Dee Dee it was my happy mail to her for the rest of her life because, you know, I am the president of Club BAM, so... I broke my, I broke my own. So for those of you who have come in later, this is, uh, these are my Shinhan PWC premium watercolors, which is their artist. And the handmade pigment ones like Verde and Hue and et cetera, are about the same cost value as M. Graham. We did a comparison in Canada anyway. They're at two different stores, so it's kind of hard to compare. But the 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 tubes that were for, are from um, 
the regular pigment, I shouldn't say handmade because they're not necessarily handmade pigments, but the regular pigments are cost the same amount per tube, $11.99, $13.99 for a 15 ounce tube. But the ones with the more expensive pigments, like the cobalts and the alizarin crimson, those were five to six bucks cheaper with um, Shinhan than the M grams. Even though Shinhan still uses the same pigment, they must get it cheaper or however they do it, you know, the Korean based companies. So I'm just looking at shapes here and painting shapes. And I actually think I have to go in. I'm going to dry this because I have to go in and paint all of this white because I'm not going to get a, I'm not going to get a viridian here. I'm getting a pr very pretty dark green, but it's not the right color that would. Uh, that would reflect on this. It has to be this viridian in the reflection. So I'm gonna have to, because I very stupidly was so excited to get the background down. I didn't mask off my water droplets like I should have. So now I have to go in and paint them all white. Is putting the viridian over this yellow is giving me a it's very pretty green but it's not the right color we are on a bunch of nutters glad you're joining oh sorry cb i am ignoring you <laughs> cb <laughs> hey well if cb if you start streaming two to three days a week i'll send you a lovely blanket too How's that for a deal? <sighs> All right. So I'm going to grab this paintbrush. I'm going to get a decent amount of white here. And I'm going to paint in my whole shape here. Now, normally I don't do this. Normally I would have, if I had been really smart, which I obviously am not today. <sighs> oh, Jean. Now that part's dark, so it doesn't matter so much. What I need to paint is the parts that are going to be lighter.
Oh, shoot. What am I painting? Oh, for goodness sakes. That's a mess. What did I just do? Ah! Let's hope that comes off. Oh, phew. Phew. All right. Sorry, Jean. <sighs> Giving myself a bit of a headache here. completely disappeared almost basically when I dried it. see what happens when it dries it uh, although it's opaque it's you have to remember it's really wetting a little bit the uh, watercolors underneath so it is going to take a layer or two to get a white surface to work on I know it looks like I'm drawing a mushroom but anyway May as well get a second layer on this area down here. That viridian really takes over. Oops. A blob of pigment there on the side of the brush. Oh, gosh, speaking of better living through pills. <laughs> While I wait for that to dry. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, let's make sure these are dry. So remember, in order to have your brights show up as bright, you need to have the darks. So I've got my nice dark here, which comes from my marine blue with the yellow shining through and then the white giving it that pop of glow. <clears throat> oh, Vaughn, I need to start putting my pills on my alert. Luckily, I only have like twice a day. So, well, twice a day. First meal and supper and bedtime. And then, of course, my, excuse me, sorry. Then my singular at bedtime. Okay. All right, let's get back to this top area. Back to uh, my... Detail brush. All right, so now my Viridian should go on looking. It already, it's coming through looking like Viridian, actually, through the white, which is good. Now, I need a little bit of yellow. Over here. Here and here. Oh, I totally missed a splash here. Actually, it is right here. Viridian down here. And up there. And a little more dark. Going in with some white, which is not working because it's going to bleed. That's okay. I'll get it in. I'll have to make another layer, obviously. And do kind of a line here. So I'm going to go in with my liner brush. And the dark. I've made it a little bigger than it should be. But that's okay. Guess I should have traced my water droplet, but anyway. Even if it's not exactly the same, it doesn't matter.
Oops, wrong bush. All right, I need to dry that so I can put some white in. Oh no, Vaughn. I like this droplet. I'm not really fond of this one yet. I need to get some white in there. Oh, and that's not going to work because I need the baby white. <sighs> My brush wasn't clean enough. So now my white gouache is yellow. So let's clean out that well and get some more white in there. Oh, need to wet my white again. I may have to use gel pen on that because that's never going to get white enough over that. All right, let's go down to this kind of area here. And let's get this moving a little bit here. All right, so now I need to show the shape a little bit because it's coming from here and up. So
Yeah, this is too small. That's my big issue. Shouldn't do a detailed painting like this in this small a format. It's just too small for me. It's annoying. Okay, I think I need to switch to this brush and I need to wet this area. Sorry if I'm not keeping up with chat, but it, it's really hard when you're working with watercolor. Got a little overzealous with that yellow there. Thanks, Vaughn. Hey, Nick. Welcome back, Tina. All right. Trying, I'm trying, I'm trying.
try and uh, blur this edge a little bit. It's hard with this brush. May have to go in with my this brush will hold a little more water, so it'll likely blur the edge a little better. All right, I need to dry this because I need to do a little bit of white underneath it and I don't want it to bleed too much. <laughs> Judy. Oh, for goodness sakes. All right. Next time I use Viridian, I will be using a separate, completely separate brush for my Viridian. <laughs> Let's just say that. It infects everything. It's tough to get out of your brush. Careful, Jane. I know I'm taking forever, but you know, it's just the type of painting this is.
Kimberly. Fix a little spot here with my dark. Okay. All right. Now, where am I? All right. I'm over here. All right, I'm going to have to let that dry and get a little bit of white into that. All right. Ah, there's a nice cerulean in there, but I may have to do it by, I think I'm going to mix some of my, instead of adding a cerulean, I'm going to mix some of my marine blue. Yeah, that'll work with some gouache and that'll get a nice bright blue that has to kind of come in here.
Okay. Oh, Jean, what are you doing? Sorry. I should have painted it large and then printed it smaller, but... I have to give this a little bit more uh, flow here. Keep forgetting I'm zoomed in and then I'm working on the wrong area. Okay, so. Yeah, Vaughn. Dip your toes back in a little bit each day. Oh, my gouache has turned a little bit blue again. Let's clean out that gouache area again. Still adding layers here to get the uh, bright white. Oh, I got green in my yellow. Dang it. I don't want that. paint around it. <laughs> okay. So, not too bad, I guess, but not not really what I want either. All right, so working here. I need I really do need my neutral tint, I think. Not a lot, so I'm just going to put a smidge on the top of my palette there. And I'm going to go directly into it because this side needs some of that really dark. Okay. <laughs> 
for crap sakes. Ah, sorry. Can't get any good yellow here. All right. I think I need to wet this whole area here. Oh, yeah, Vaughn, what you need to do is um, follow each of us who stream on YouTube. Then if you click subscribe and click the little bell beside the word subscribe, then you will get a notification when people stream. I'm on Mondays at 4. Now, when I'm home at Christmas, I won't be streaming. But um, Totally messed up the spatial of this, but oh well. I'll just uh, move on as if I didn't mess it up. But it's my painting anyway, right? So I can make it look however I want. I'm 
So it shouldn't have zoomed in quite so much on my iPad because that made it hard to really figure out exactly where I was in my painting because I zoomed in so much that I kind of messed up this area, but, and then spatially it's wrong, but that's okay. That is okay. Now I'll get this part in and uh, as long as the shapes are close that it still looks like reflections, it doesn't matter that much. It's all about shapes. Now I'm going to take my slightly larger brush that'll hold more water than my detail brush, but still has a decent point. And soften that out, spread the color. Oh, thanks, Judy. Okay, yes, Vaughn, when, if you go to my blog there, you can subscribe at least to, to all the ones that are, all the ones that are streaming on New Year's Eve is a good number. Um, plus Zandra, I'll try and, um, you're still on Twitter, right, Vaughn? We'll get you hooked up. I'll try and tweet you all the people that are streaming that are not streaming on the New Year's Eve. There's a couple who aren't, like Jen, Ozagrand Jen. She's on YouTube. Excuse me. All right. So I still need to work on this. It needs a little more dark here. So that it's darker than, so I'm adding some neutral tint on this main splash so that it will be, because it has to be darker, I think I need a little more, it has to be darker than the marine blue in the splash itself so that it stands out ooh, ooh, from the other, uh-oh. I've got to get my palette sorted because so I'm going to want to bring at least one palette home. I might bring my White Knights home. No, I want to bring my either my Shinhan or my Imgrams home. So there we go. That neutral tint will 
darken that area nicely. Ugh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I like that. These drops are too big. Anyway. this needs oh okay and I need my liner brush I think Okay.
Thanks, Jillian. Oh, Judy, thanks. Bye, me. All right. Let's see. All right, I need some yellow. While I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to get my heat gun here. does doesn't it <laughs> looks a little bit like a ballerina hi diane nice to see you this is a christmas gift for samuel I'm going to have to add some gouache on there to get a good white reflection. So let's go in and get some gouache. Right here. And over here. Then I can add in my yellow. All right, so I'll let that dry. I'll need to get a little bit more yellow in there. There we go. All right. So let's get the yellow painted in here. And All right, I'm going to have to And a little bit of neutral tint in here to darken that up. And I'm going to have to add a little bit of white 
in that area. I just paint it so that I can uh, get some yellow and white in there. Oh my gosh, an angel holding a baby. Oh my goodness, holding a baby up like this. Oh gosh, how cool is that? Oh my goodness, it is. Well, what do you know? What we can see in raindrops, eh? Very cool. And then needs a little bit of this. Okay. So that one doesn't have as much white in it because it is the reflection in the dark water, right? So, um, I may have to add some gel pen in some of these spots where the gouache is not staying white enough, but we'll see. All right, so let's dry that. Just a couple more details to add. It's almost done. I'll take the tape off because that'll really reveal it without seeing this messy edge. Just a few details in this reflection. And a little bit, perhaps, with the white gel pen to get a few really good highlights. All right, let's make sure this is completely clean because I want to get my white, pure white. Okay, of course, this is going on so that I can get some <sighs> that is the reflection of that one.
still need to add a little more white here so I can get that yellow in there and here. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Diane. Oh, my gosh. still tend to be very hard on myself but I guess as an artist you have to see the details right and then just sometimes So now it actually, down here, it's not, actually, when you look close, it is not yellow. It is that I'm going to use my leaf green, which is a very, very yellow green. Just because with it being a reflection in that part of the viridian water, the viridian really kind of gives it that the yellow that greenish hue so okay now all right so now once that dries i can go in and do my dark details on either side of that line. So let's dry that. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jilly. Jillian, Jilly. Some people wouldn't even take this long with this type of painting, but, you know, it's, it's all about getting those shapes correct, you know? All right, so I'm going to go in here and add some of that yellow that needs to go in there, but I'm going to add it and then kind of take it back off because I want it to be not too bright, just a hint of yellow in that white. There we go. And here. There we go. All right. Now, make sure there's a little bit of yellow in each of those. All right. So now, with my fine detail brush, I'm going to use the neutral tint and not the marine blue because this needs to be kind of darker because. It is in the reflection, the dark part of the water. Obviously, it's a brilliant sky shining onto this. Maybe like even the northern lights shining on this pool of water that this drop is coming from.
apologize if my head gets in my way while I'm working. But um, all right, so now what I need to do is I just need to take an overview here. I'm going to dry it. I'm going to take the tape off and then I'm going to see if there's anywhere where I need to go in. My white jelly pen. I really need to put this down here in this picture in the original I'll show you the original up a little bigger in the original I made it bigger than it is here in the reference photo so in the reference photo it just kind of gets lost here but I need to add it a little bigger here so Otherwise, it kind of looks silly because there's supposed to be a reflection right here. So I am going to add it. Hey, Darla. Sorry I missed you coming in. Oh, a little too much, I think. Oops, I just need a little more water with that yellow. It's a little, little vibrant. Okay, I think I best stop while I'm ahead. I'm going to take the tape off and see if there's anywhere where I just need that bright to be bright. Uh oh, oh no! Oh no, what happened? Oh no, where did that come from? I just, uh oh. If I try and scrape it off, I'm probably going to mess it up. Dang it. Worse comes to worse, I'll have to make it a, a splash.
All right. I think I'm going to have to make a splash because it's just going to get worse. Now I'm going to have to do a reflection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember when first cable first came to the New Glasgow area where I grew up way back in the 70s. And they actually had a local cable station, Channel 10. And we used to have our own, like, local Christmas daddies. Up at the station, I sang several times on the TV station, and they had different specials. And one thing they had was a local artist used to come on and paint. And it makes me think of, of Bob Ross, because it was, uh, didn't look anything like him, but it was the like same kind of idea. He'd come on and do his painting in the studio. Okay, so let's dry that, and then, for sure, I will take the tape off. For heaven's sakes, really? Thank you, Beth. my white gel pen. Where'd you go?
There's my silver one. Hello, where's my white gel pen? It must be over here. There it is. So I get it going by coloring on my finger. It works better over, yeah, I might have to use my, I actually may have to use my Posca because these gel pens don't like working over watercolor. They work much better over acrylic. They don't like the pigment and I don't want to ruin my pen. Let's see if I can find my white Posca. Here it is. Okay. That's fairly bright anyway. Mostly I need it in this one. Well, I may actually have to do it with Gosh. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to do another layer of gouache because it is just not at all liking. <laughs> either of those choices. Oh my gosh, I missed an area and I've got to do it because it looks stupid without it. All right, totally missed it. I had some white on it. So I really need to... Uh... Totally missed this. That's the uh, reflection of this area. Alrighty, I'm done. I'm not going to sign it until I get it in the frame. So let's dry it. Hey, Lena. Hey, 
Thanks, Lena. Yeah, Via. Vaughn, sorry, I don't know why I said that. I just looked and without thinking. All right, is there anywhere else that needs to be lightened a little bit? Oh, yes. Hold on. I have a need a little bit more reflection of light here. It disappeared under here. So that, that dark shows up a little better. There we go. I like that. That helps. Alrighty. So let's see what it looks like in the mat. Thanks, Lena. Thanks, Dar. Yeah, I think Sam will like it. All right. So it's just a... little Dollarama frame here. Not too bad. Oops. Sorry, I don't want the glass. I just want the... All right. <clears throat> Don't fall, you. frame that probably would have cost 10 or 12 at Walmart so hey it's not that bad a quality one actually so, so our dollar Anna has things like four dollars and under so used to be everything was a dollar but not anymore but they do have some nice stuff and it's still cheaper than other places so Right, I'm just going to make sure, yep, before I do the other two sides. Yes, Vaughn, so happy you joined us and hope to see you at more streams. Didi still Monday and Wednesday and some Fridays, 8.30 Eastern. I'm Mondays at 4, Thursdays at 1 Eastern. Um, Colleen is in prompt two. Vicky S is Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think it's four central, isn't it, Vicky? I think. So. Find it. It's in the dark so that it doesn't, I don't want it to stand out. But I am also going to uh, 
So now I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to clean the Thanks, Jillian. Um, when do I travel home? Um, as of right now, Wednesday or Thursday next week, if I'm taking the bus. Um, because I don't want to travel on the weekend on the bus because it's going to be very busy. Wednesday or Thursday is going to be busy enough, so... So just Merry Christmas, Sam, 2018, add it to the back there. Okay, so. And I specifically chose this frame for this painting because I thought the copper would offset the lovely viridian since orange, you know, with the orange and the green. There we go. And I was right. I think it looks lovely. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Oh, wrong. Sorry, clicked. I'm on the wrong thing here. Zoom. There we go. So now you guys can see it in the painting. Let's go to this one so you're not seeing the. Uh... There you go. You can see it in the frame. Thanks, Vaughn. I thought it was nice. And it doesn't distract from the painting either. A, a, a black frame would have framed it nicely too, but I think it would have distracted more from the painting. So I like that. So... Thanks, guys. Well, thanks, everyone, for coming. It's time for me to go grab a bite to eat. And uh, see you all later.